we have finished our research for coal. It's time to go build our coal power plant. So coming in here to tier two, just to recap, tier one is complete. Tier two, everything complete except jump pads. Tier three, I have done coal power. I have done vehicular transports. I have done enhanced security. Now we're off and ready to build. The next thing up is the basic steel production for research, but it's now time to build a coal power plant. We are sitting at a hundred and we're sitting at 220 generation capacity, but we want to add 600 more. Now we have done a couple of more things here. We'll just before we go build the coal power plant, we'll show a little things. We've moved our concrete plant. It's over here, part of the Pave the World project. We've moved the, we've moved it you know closer from where it was down there. Uh, we've put the copper up here on a proper facility. We have put our power up here on a proper facility. You know on the pad. We've put our uh, we, we've put our hub up here. We've got our our power, our concrete, our mirror, not concrete, but our iron over here being made. So we've made a couple of changes around the base just in the time that we have, you know, since the last time we were here. And it's now time to go build our power plant. We will be back when we get up to the power plant location up above the waterfall. Okay, we have come to the top of the hill where we're going to build our coal power plant. Now, you can see off down in the distance, you can actually see my base. Um, you can kind of make out, it's kind of uh, smoggy, I guess is a word, or foggy. So you can't really see the pad real well, but you can see the road going out into the distance. The pad's over there, you know, uh, you know within what we're doing. The space elevator isn't up right now. Uh, you can see where the component is up here, but the actual space elevator itself isn't there. Uh, we will put it back. But for now, we are up here on top of the waterfall. So here's the waterfalls that we looked at in the last video. And we are now up here on top of these waterfalls, and we are going to build a power plant. Now, the power plant will require uh, 600, we want 600 megawatts of power. That's going to take eight coal powers, uh, eight, eight coal generators, I should say. And the eight coal generators requires 120 coal to operate at 100%. And this right here is a pure coal node. And so this pure coal node right here will produce 120 per minute. So part of the reason that we've been waiting is so that we would actually have the reinforced iron plates so that we would have Mark II belts because we can't really build this power plant until we have Mark II belts. So now that we have Mark II belts, we will do this right here. And the other thing that we will need to power this is going to be once we build this, it will also require three water generators. So the uh, the three water generators will produce 360 water. I'll have to feed feed two of them from one end and one of them from the other end to get the water in to where we need it uh, because the pipe only holds 300. So we'll run it in from both ends to get enough water in there. We'll have to let it load balance a little bit. And then, you know, my power plant's gonna be right here. We'll be, I'll show a time lapse of the uh, power plant being built and then we'll be back to take a look at it.
The power plant is now fully operational, so let's take a look at how this thing is set up. You can see the pipes coming in here. Uh, we can actually see the pipes coming down through here and what they're doing. Uh, if we come over in here, let's see, can we jump up there? No, we cannot. Let's come around here. There we go. Jump up in here, jump up in here, so we can kind of see what this looks like. You can see that I've got coal coming into each one of these burners. You can see here that it is actually burning at 100%. Coal's full, it's completely full. So we've filled it up um, and we are producing 600 megawatts of power. Now coal's coming all the way down through here. Um, being as we are burning 120, this one right here only has one coal in it, but it does have one coal and it is working at 100%. You can see my coal coming out here, Mark II belt, completely full feeding over here into this and if we come over here on the back side of the power plant you can see the water extractors down here they are running they are feeding water up i did have to put i'm just high enough that i had to put in a couple of pumps to get the water up here but i've got the water and the flow rate you can see here flow rate is maximum and you can see the current amount in pipe that i'm running 300 meters a second this is 190 100 that it it bounces around a little bit but it works and while we're up here you can also see I've got a cold node there and another cold node there. I can build three more of these, or two more of these, I mean, with just these uh, Mark I miners. So I can have three of those. That'd be 1,800 power that that's doing. So that would be, because this is producing 600 megawatts of power. The other thing about this that you need to know, these little bio burners are here. I added these bio burners because you have to prime the system. And I didn't have power up here, so I'm off over here. So I had to turn the bio burners on so that it would run the coal and fill up and it would run the water. And then once that did, then the power kicked in of the, the, the main power kicked in and did that. And I put some biofuel right here in a box. If I ever have to prime it again, it's just sitting here nearby. 